It just, it, my tire just quit. It's still. It's gross. It, but it's slick. It, it wasn't supposed to do that. That's the one part of the tire you that you can't. not ash at a. <laughs> it's the one part of the tire that you can't melt. You're not supposed to do a burnout there. I did a burnout on the rim. I did a burnout on the rim. Wait, look at the line here, right? So this was the lines there and there, but I can guarantee you it spun more than once. It was a few right It was this thing was probably going like 80 inside the tire, and the tire's going like 20 miles an hour. Inside? Oh yeah. It's smoked uh, everywhere you look. It is. it is smoked everywhere. Literally can't have anything nice if I own it. I just ruin everything. Someone commented, they're like, dude, do you just try to break stuff? And I'm like, no, I really don't. As that thing is sitting there with, with a strange axle sitting there, and we got parts on the way for this. All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. If you saw the last one, this is going to be helpful because we're going right from the last one to this one. Today is the next day, and we are underneath the cow marrow. What we got going on is we got Ben in the video. Ben, that's a great looking hat. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to drop the diff out of this thing. And the reason is, as you guys saw at the end of the last video, we drained all of the fluid out of it. And you can't really tell unless you stick your finger in there and swirl it all around, which, yeah, there's some, there's material. yeah, there's some material, it's definitely metallic, no bueno. So this diff has a wave track locker in it. It is not a spool. And the reason why I went with a, with a locker is because I daily drove on this, drove it on the street. I'd say a hundred times more than I went to the track at the time. So I kept the locker in there. The wave track locker is a very good piece, but I think I heard it. Do you think I heard it? No. Not, not truly hurt, but. Ben, maybe. what do you think? Well, it's, it's mechanical. It's got, it's got not got clutches in it, but it's got one, one disc in it, a carbon pad on the disc. And you probably, yeah, you cook the carbon. And but other than that, like the actual locker itself. Oh no, it's got like, it's got helical gears in it, so mm -hmm. unless you like fracture a gear into a million different pieces, like what you would know you did. You would definitely see it in there. Yeah. yeah. But it's not like a rear end with clutches that you smoke the clutches and it stops right. working. Yeah. This is more mechanical. I Way more mechanical. That. Yeah, we smoked the clutches in that. Ben rebuilt that rear. It did well as soon as he rebuilt it. Pow. You just... Yeah. No, we we pop it. So pretty much what I did is when the tire spun, when it launched, both tires had power and then it sensed some slippage and it pretty much cut power to this side and shoved it all out that side. And that's why as I went down track, the time that it really spun, the last pass I made, I pedaled it like two or three times and it felt in the car like something was broken, but it wasn't really broken. It just kept spinning this tire. It's putting all the power down to this tire. So we are getting ready to go to Florida, and unfortunately, both cars down. This is the prep. Like, how many days are we leaving? We're leaving like five, six days. Six days. Six days, and we're tearing. Well, five days now. Oh, no, six days. Six days. Yeah, weekend. Oh yeah, the the weekend. I've been tearing some stuff up. Really, it hasn't been good, but everything is getting fixed. So I don't want to go down to Florida and make one pass, and for some odd reason, just have something not working. So. I contacted my guys at Strange, JC, absolutely hooked it up. He is sending me a spool for this car. It is a nine inch center section, so everything's the same as a nine inch, so I got a spool coming on the way from Strange. I have new stub, axle stub, coming from the drive shaft shop. And if we walk over here, we got some more Strange goodies. So this video, you could say this video is brought to you by Strange Engineering. We have, we have brand new, 35 spline axles for the boosted rooster along with their spool. Look how nice that is. Their stuff's, their stuff's nice. I gotta say. We got this specced out. So it's an 8.8 rear, but we have it drilled out with half inch studs for a Chevy bolt pattern. And then we got the C-clip eliminators on there. So everything, I mean, this is just a really, really nice. I mean, this thing's stout. 35 spline is no joke. Surprisingly, it held a ton of power on the 26 spline or 28 spline, whatever it was, but these bad boys, just, just for reference here. This is the old 26 spline or 28 spline, whatever it is. And look at just the difference in sheer size. I mean, that is a large difference in size, I would say. And I can guarantee you that this material is definitely stronger than this. Shout out to Strange Engineering. If you guys need anything rear end wise, suspension wise, brake wise, I highly recommend contacting Strange. They are the absolute best. I run all of their stuff in every single car now. I have their S60 in the Salty Chicken. We're running 
the 8 8 axles and spool and gear in the boosted rooster and i have their nine inch in the cow marrow along with their suspension and the cow which really the suspension is kind of what's taking this car to the next level so back to the cow what we're doing here is we are taking this big ugly dumb irs piece out of the car Guys, this is one of the benefits I would say. I'd say the only benefit of having an IRS is if you have to take the rear end out, it's not really the biggest deal. We were able to unbolt the axles itself from the center section and then just take a couple center section bolts out, take the drive shaft off, and pow. One bolt is stopping us from getting this out. As you can see, you got the nice little Strange logo right here. Shout out to Strange yet again. Check them out. But we're going to wait for Chris to get back to get this bolt out because this sucker has got to weigh like one small ton. It is quite heavy. Do burnout. Chris is fully engulfed in the race car life where you have to hold the trans brake down to back up. Man, what is that god awful noise it's making? Race car. What is that noise? Sounds like you're beating the damn everything out of it. I'm eating something out of it. Yeah, if those of you guys that are at home that are like, what is that noise going on? That's what a billet torque tube sounds like. You got all billet bushings in there. Track ready. How's it feel? Stupid. <laughs> That's great. We have the third member taken apart. We have the world's slowest fox body driver in the house. This is me. Well, you grew a beard as if it'd make you any faster. It's just, uh, it's cold outside, dude. I, I hear you. Hey, where'd you get that awesome hat from? I got it in the merch link below. Wow, you, you, you're you good. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the locker out. That's the wave track locker right here. That's the wave track locker on the ring gear. <laughs> and holy crap was that loud. As you can see, we have this super clean workspace to work with. So this is what a spool looks like. This is a spool that is going in the rooster. This one doesn't work with the cows we're in. That's for an 8.8. This is a 9 inch, so I'll have a new one here tomorrow. Uh, but right now we're going to take this off, and I guess we'll just hold on to it, really. Hmm. Really no need to get rid of it, huh? For those of you guys that are wondering what a locker is, this is pretty much it. It's all, this one in specific is just gear sets. And is it smoked? It looks like it's pretty smoked. Which side is this? Uh, He's pulling all these guys out. Yeah, look at that thing right there. What is that? That's the... Oh, man. Damn, is it broken? Is it starting to break? It's damn sure worn out. What are the cracks in it? I don't honestly really know. It looks like... It looks like it's pissed, huh? Yeah. It's a little angry little guy. Yeah, it spins in there. Nothing smoked. So I think I think it was a good call, personally, yeah, I do too. to change this out. Everyone I was talking to, like, man, I don't think you could hurt one of these, but... You definitely can. A guy hurt one on the internet with a Jetta. Everyone, <laughs> <laughs> come on, dude. We're talking about a little bit more than a Jetta here. Yeah, these things are like, the teeth are really sharp on these because they're... They're, they're, they're chewed up. Yeah, what is that? They got that one mark on them. <laughs> okay, so this part's not smoked so bad. But, like, let's see. So, see how that's carbon fiber yeah I bet you the other side there's no carbon fiber <laughs> it's all just like done I think honestly I don't know if it's bad but I think it's definitely like not the happiest I don't know if it's something I want to drive 700 miles to go and turn it up on 
No. All right, everyone. So we have the rear end taken apart. The strange third member is out. We are just waiting for the spool, and then Ben will put it back together. Ben, thank you for your hard work today. I appreciate it, dude. Of course. We got a lot of work to do before we go to Florida. A little bit. Not too bad. Yeah, not... Definitely not. We're, we got some time though. It's not super crunch time yet. Not like when we went to the YouTube call where we where we all worked for like three days, no sleep. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was that sucked. So we're gonna put some axles back in this puppy. We're gonna put a rear end back in that puppy. We're gonna get Chris's car is gonna go on the dyno at RPM before we leave. So everything should be all toned up, and we're gonna go down there and have some fun. I need you guys to help me out. Go down and follow Ellis Nasty on Instagram. I will link their stuff right here. Check them out. We're going to be doing a giveaway very shortly with that. Um, be sure to go down and check out the website, Ellis Nasty. Get you some merch. We're going to get the Calmero back up and running and whooping some ass. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.